my friends, welcome back to another class. Um, just tell you that today we're in the class number 17. Ya estamos en la clase 17, así que uh, we're going to try to finish this as soon as possible. Vamos a tratar de que terminar eso tan pronto sea posible. Okay. So welcome back, Carly. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hello. Ah, hello. How are you tonight? Good? I'm fine. Good. You're fine. Okay. That's yes. perfect. Yesterday was like a difficult day, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. But now you're okay. I can see you smiling. That's good. <laughs> okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. okay. Here we have also Francisco. Okay. Everything right. How was your day? Hi, teacher. Hello. Everything perfect? Nice. Okay, maybe we have difficulties. No. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, perfect. How was your day? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo tu día? Nice. Okay, maybe we have some difficulties. Nice, nice. Okay, thank you. Here we have, let's check to some of you. Vamos a revisar algunos de ustedes por acá. Here we have also Gabriel, good evening, Jocelyn, Kathy, uh, Roberto, Elizabeth, uh, Flor, and Marvin. Just. Okay, just give me a minute. Give me a second. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, for waiting. And we're going to check uh, topic of tonight. Just give me a moment. Uh, the topic, tonight's topic, it's like a very known, just un tanto conocido. And how to use would like to. Como usar el would like, and we have no problem. I guess we don't have problem to, to express uh, ideas about this. Yeah, no vamos a tener ningún problema con el would. Ya lo hemos utilizado tres veces, but, and we're going to have like a review as well, if we have some questions. So, listen. Interesting phrases. Uh, to for describing relationships. Good. Uh, frases para describir este, relaciones emocionales o estados civiles. Okay, let's see. Um, Carly, a question. En el Tienes, ¿cómo se llama? ¿Escuchas eh, alguna interferencia mientras yo hablo o, o sonidos? Sí, se escuchan sonidos. Teacher. Se entiende, se entiende lo que usted habla, pero se escuchan sonidos de fondo. Ok, ya me acerca. Okay, so let's uh, check this. Here we have the first one, I'm single. Single, single, it means uh, soltero, soltera. I'm single uh, in the case I'm with someone, you are saying that you are, you have a relationship. Okay, so that's it. Se refiere que ustedes tienen una relación. 
Um, number three, I am dating someone. O pueden decir, we are dating. O sea, estoy saliendo con alguien. Cuando dicen I am with someone, es que ustedes tienen una relación. You are not uh, giving details. No están dando detalles. Good so, evening, teacher. Hello, Christy. Good evening. Good evening. Um, en este caso, cuando decimos I am with someone, el número dos, estoy con alguien. Number three, I am dating someone. Estoy saliendo con alguien. Or even you can say we are dating. Pueden decir eso, ¿verdad? Estamos saliendo. Ok. Eh, number four, we are engaged. Quiere decir estoy com estamos comprometidos. También pueden decir I am engaged. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que estoy comprometido o comprometida. Engaged. Conté. Eh, eso significa... I'm going to marry. Significa que me voy a casar. Pero si ya están casados, obviamente no van a utilizar esto. Right. But here we have going to marry. Eso es lo que significa. Lo otro es I am married. Soy casado, casada. I am married. And the, the next is I've been married for. He estado casada o he estado casado por tantos años. For example, I've. Pueden decir I have, pero aquí es una contracción I've. I've been married for one year, two years, five years, 25 years. Okay. So the other one is I'm divorced. Conté al final. I'm divorced. In this case, eh, quiere decir estoy divorciado o eh, estoy divorciado. Okay. And the other is I am getting divorced. Conté. I'm getting divorced. Me voy a divorciar. Right? So th this is really, really simple. And here we have, let me see. Uh, se lo puedo dejar un momento más para, para que la copien. Repitiendo, I am single, estoy soltero. I am with someone, estoy con alguien. I am dating someone. O we are dating, eh, estamos saliendo o estoy saliendo con alguien. We are engaged, estamos comprometidos. Quiere decir que nos vamos a casar o oh, I am engaged. Lo otro es I am married. Estoy casado, casada. I've been married for, okay. Eh, I am divorced, con T, divorced. Y lo otro es I'm getting divorced, right? These phrases are really useful, are really useful if you plan, well, if you have a conversation with a person and you have like confidence, y se tienen confianza, you can say this, right? Um, let's see the others that we have here. I'm widow. Eh, significa estoy, bueno, viudo o viuda, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? I'm widow, como Black Widow de, de Avengers. El otro, I'm not looking for anything serious. No estoy buscando por algo serio, ¿verdad? Anoten esa, tal vez les pueda salvar la vida. I'm not looking for anything serious. Then here we have number three. Number three, I'm not quite over my ex, ¿verdad? I'm not quite over my ex. The other, we're just friends, okay? And we broke up. Ahorita se dan solo las la, la, la pronunciaciones. Sorry, estoy viendo que están se escribiendo algunos que vienen de camino, okay? Uh, number one, I'm widow. Uh, Viudo o viuda, ¿verdad? Soy viudo, soy viuda. Number two, I'm not looking for anything serious. No estoy buscando por algo. No estoy buscando nada, nada serio. Three, I'm not quite over my ex. Quiere decir que no he superado mi ex. Y esto es triste, sad. Espero que nunca lo utilicen en su vida. Ok. <risa> es, yeah. Yes, espero que no. Además, number four, we're just friends. Esta es una frase que mata a muchos caballeros. We are just friends. Solo somos amigos y amigas, ¿verdad? Minuto de silencio por ellos. And next, we broke up. We broke up es cortamos, terminamos la relación. ¿Ok? We broke up. Uh, my relationship is complicated. 
mi relación es complicada, así como aparece a veces en Facebook, los estados, ¿verdad? Complicated, mm, ok. Complicated, ok. Y luego es, I'm interested in, ¿verdad? Entonces, tenemos la diferencia entre interested y eh, interesting es que en la primera ustedes están diciendo que están interesados o interesadas en alguien. Por ejemplo, eh, me dice Marvin, ¿verdad? hablando, we are having a conversation, and then Marvin says, well, uh, believe it or not, I'm interested in Verónica. Nombre X. So Marvin is saying that uh, he wants to meet her, quiere conocerla y todo eso. Pero cuando dicen interesting es interesante. Esta solo le pongo un ejemplo de que no va interesting, va interested. Estoy interesado en, estoy interesada en. ¿Ok? And the other is uh, fiancé. Fiancé, que it's like the same pronunciation but different uh, writing. Uh, prometido. Prometida. Ah, he's my fiancé. Ok. Eh, él es mi, mi prometido. Ok. So, that's it. So, um, I'm widowed. I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm not quite over my ex. Sé que se le gustó. We're just friends. No es friends. Es friends. La I es eh, silent. We broke up. My relationship is complicated. I am interested in fiance. Okay. So you tell me, I'm going to uh, call one by one uh, because as, uh, I'm going to check the, the, the attendance list. Mm, let me check. Let me check this. Okay, I'm going to uh, check the attendance list. You say, hi, hello, good evening. And then you mention one of these prices, okay? Let's see, we start. Then... Ya te escuché, Carly. Ya, la tres, <laughs> tranquila, okay? <laughs> Not kidding. Okay, let's listen to Elizabeth Loader. Hello. <laughs> Ah, estás Ay, practicando. Ya sé cuál so me va a decir. Ya sé cuál. No, decir la verdad. Okay. Sí, estoy diciendo la verdad. ¿Cuál es? Son Juan. Ah, really good. Congratulations. That's nice. Que vive el amor. Ok. So, Elizabeth is happy. Eh, Flor, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sure. Mm -hmm. I am single. Ok, nice. Está más feliz todavía. Ok, let's listen to Frank. Ok, Francisco, si no te jalan las horas. Okay. I am single. Ah, y de repente aquí. Ok. Sí. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Si cancela la cámara es porque me están pegando. Ah, no, pues sí. Y le pones ahí, quitas el micrófono, no voy a hacer. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno. Nice. Here we have also Gabriel, but Gabriel, I guess, is moving. Creo que va de camino. Um, We have also Iris. Good evening, Iris. Mm, good evening, teacher. Okay. So, what's the phrase you selected? Uh, <laughs> ninguna. Mm, you're not going. Do you have just to say anyone? So, tiene que decir cualquiera. No es que sea la real. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm single. Oh, okay, la vieja confiable. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, Juan, are you there? No. Okay. What about Judith? Good evening. Good evening, Judith. I'm married. Oh, nice. Perfect. How many years? Solo seleccioné una frase. Ah, okay. Vaya, pues ya ven como creemos. Creemos. <laughs> Es parte del show, ok. Ivania. I don't know if Ivan is moving, si todavía te va de camino. Te salvó. Ok, Carly. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. My relationship is complicated. Ah, vaya, esa es otra vieja confiable. Ok. We understand. Entendemos. Thank you. Eh, Katy. Hello. Hello. 
Um, I'm, I'm engaged. I'm engaged. Good one. Okay. Que viva el amor. Okay. David, I don't know if David is there. If not, we're going to continue with Marvin. Okay, my friend. What about Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. And then we, uh, we work at. Ah, okay, nice. And damos tristes. No problem. Here we have Nelson. Are you there? I guess no. Okay, now let's listen to Patty. Patty, no. Okay, Roberto. Present teacher. Hello, okay, my friends. We're What's... engaged. Okay, nice. Engaged. Uh, Christy, hello. I'll be Maria, um, here teacher. Wow, good for you. Si es real, congratulations. No, es nice. que es verdad, es que es real. <laughs> yes, nice, perfect. Uh, William. Present. Okay, William, what's your phrase? Uh, I'm Mary. Okay, nice. Que alegre, lo dijo. Okay, William, thank you. Jocelyn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh -huh, Jocelyn. Uh I am with someone. Okay, vaya, que fiel. Thank you. And Aneris, I guess Aneris is kind of um, busy. Good evening. Partner. Good evening, everything okay? I'm divorced. Okay, nice, más que feliz. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, thank you, uh, Aneris. So if you can see, creo que les ha gustado esta frase. Les voy a traer más de estas, okay. So you can describe your relationships it is not so healthy to talk about these topics at the first, by, by, by what, at the beginning of any conversation, como que no es muy sano, ¿verdad? But when you have confidence, when they tienen confianza, of course, you can talk about any other topics. And in case, in case a person asks you about your marital status, se, normalmente se dice, sí, what's your marital status? What's your marital status? ¿Cuál es tu estado marital normalmente? Okay. O oh, le puedo preguntar a uh, Are you with someone? Are you in a relationship? También pueden preguntar eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Are you in a relationship? O oh, how, how are you doing with love? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo va con el amor? There are different forms to say it and you can understand it. Se entiende, ¿ok? Es bien fácil de entender. So, that's it. Good, and now that we have this, creo que alguna parte de esta frase le puede salvar la vida. Believe it or not, créanlo o no. Okay, in this case, here we have, would you like to plan your own funeral? ¿Te gustaría planear o planificar eh, tu propio funeral? Why? So in this case, eh, you can say, yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Eh, sería de esta manera. Yes. I would. No, I wouldn't. Entonces se pronuncia. Yes, I, no, yes. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't, wouldn't. Okay, and then you can explain uh, about this and you can give your point of view about this uh, interesting question. I, get, I like this question. Actually, okay, Juan, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, everything all right? Yes. Okay, do you want to participate? Yes. Okay, please. Okay, and yes, I would like to play my own funeral. And that they part the song that I like. Okay, yes. Uh, you would like to have a song, spe uh, 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 a specific song. Do you have a song in specific or, or something like that? No. Mm, no, no, no. Not really, no. not really. But you, you would like to have your, like, to plan your, your own funeral. Okay, interesting. Perfect. What about if we listen now to Carly? And then we go with Iris. Okay, Carly. Yes, no. Okay, teacher. 
Yes, I go. I would like to choose my clothes, what the ceremony would be like and how to attend to those who accompany my family. Okay, really nice. Look, there are some details like the clothes, like a ceremony. Yes, and it could be like a way to remember you, una manera como para recordarte. A really nice. It's like, Carly would like this. Would we'll, no, we'll have like this. Como que le hubiera gustado a ella. Esos detalles. Why not? Okay. Yo citara todos los prestamientos los que les debo pisto. Okay. Let's listen to Iris and then we go with Marvin. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Can you hear me? Definitely yes. <laughs> okay. Ya está comenzando a llover, así que lo voy a hacer rápido. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Um, in my case, yes, I do. Okay. Why? <laughs> I will ask them to play my favorite songs. Okay, good option. Tell the funniest anecdotes. And, oh, anecdotes, yes, <laughs> yes. funny anecdotes. And read the letter that I will leave right for my love okay good options and okay carly mentioned ceremony clothes get under fashion this <laughs> yeah, okay and Así it como is en, en la película esta de bajo la misma estrella okay no la he visto but no, i guess you're kind of romantic voy a llorar en serio <laughs> verdad voy a llorar okay. sí amares Voy a aprovechar para llorar por otras cosas de un solo. Ok. Nice. Sí. Thank you. Ok. Songs. A letter. Okay. Ahí va el testamento de Iris. También nos va a mencionar. So sí. imagine. Good points because you can say goodbye to the people that you love. And to say thank you. And anecdotes. Mm -hmm. Why not? Funny anecdotes. ¿Verdad? Anecdotes graciosas y todo eso. That could be really good. Okay, thank you, it is nice. We go with Marvin and then let's listen to Francisco. Okay, teacher. And my answer is, and I could then, okay. then if, I play, if I play, if we never be ready, with the time we live. Okay. We never are going to be ready with the time we have, right? Because unfortunately, we don't know the day you're going to pass away. No sabemos el día. Maybe you can have plans, but sometimes maybe let's uh, let let it be. Vamos a dejar que las cosas pasen, right? Okay, nice, Marvin. No va a dejar testamento, Marvin. Entonces se lleva toda la tumba. Okay, Frank. What about you? And then we're going to listen. To an Aries, if si puede. Okay. <clears throat> yes, I would like to plan my honor. Okay. So as not, so as not to leave my relative wife problems. Even look for her and the and how my life resting place could be great. Okay. Good. Uh, a very good uh, opinion with avoid problems, evitar problemas with family members. Remember that when we pass away, sometimes uh, our relatives are so sad. A veces están demasiado tristes and it is difficult for them to think and to have like yeah. clear ideas about this. Okay, that's it. So imagine you can have like not everything specific, not everything specific, but like main points, puntos principales, okay? Nice. Okay, okay. Thank you, Francisco. Very okay. good point. Well, let's listen now to Anaris, if you're okay, and then we go with uh, Flor. Yes, okay. I would economically because it is expense that no one provides. Of for, course. And also because I want it to be a happy forward. Oh, good, yes. Like a happy memory. Imagine, uh, I don't know if you are aware, si están conscientes, 
if you are aware, but funerals here in El Salvador or all the process when you pass away, it is like really, um, really complicated and expensive. Es caro morirse. <laughs> yes, that's it. So when we have burial, el burial es que cuando nosotros decimos el but funeral, it's the process that you have at night when you visit the relatives and, and you say you're sorry. But the burial is el, como le decimos nosotros, el entierro. Me parece que hay otras palabras para, para no, no, no decir entierro porque eso se escucha como medio pesado, right? Sepultura. Sepultura. And what is the other? Sepelio. Sepelio. Yes. So that's it. Se escucha como más formalito. Okay. So burial. Burial is that. Okay. Uh, cemetery. Pueden decir graveyard, but cemetery is easy to remember. Es fácil de, de, de recordar, okay? So, um, here are cemetery and burial. And here we have, let's see. Uh, it is important to, 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 to leave a good memory as well. Jocelyn, yes. Tell us, Jocelyn. Okay, teacher. I will not. Because in the a in the most difficult moment you have fit people, and I think that is only necessary that those people are the saying goodbye and remember the most pleasant moment we share. Okay, very nice. The most pleasant, okay. It is like the happiest moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'm sorry, it's pleasant. Okay, and Jocelyn says no. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay if you don't want to plan your own funeral. Remember that it is something difficult to talk about. It is not easy about talk about death. De hecho, es, es complicado to learn sobre eso, but well, we have different opinions. Thank you. Let's see. We're going to finish this time with Elizabeth. Okay, Eli? Vamos a ver cuánto nos vas a dejar. Algún día. Así lo no. pongo en la cooperativa. Yes. <laughs> no, yo no. Yo no voy a dejar nada. Solo oh. deudas, obviamente. Okay, va. <laughs> Quieren ser los beneficiarios. No, thank you. Anda buscando beneficiarios ahorita. No, thank you. We are okay. So, no Eli, se vale. What's your opinion? Yes, plan your funeral or not? No. Okay. No, no. I wouldn't. I am a word that we are all going to die, mm -hmm. but to plan my own funeral. Mm -hmm. I would not like. Okay, you would not like to plan your own funeral. Yeah, it's okay. Remember that it's part of the life, but we don't have sometimes that those uh, ideas. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. So that's okay. Se dan cuenta. Do you notice that we have different types of opinions, and all of them are okay? Thank you. Now let's move with this. Let me see. Here we have uh, this. Remember that we have yesterday, we were talking about problems that we have uh, in the workplace and we ask for assistance, pedimos asistencia. For example, when we have problems with the computer, new software, or we don't have internet access. A virus, sometimes it happens. Deleted files, que son los archivos eliminados. Paper, stock, printer. Eh, cuando se traba, cuando se, se atasca el papel en la, en la impresora. That's something really, really bad. USB ports of out of order. And funny noise in the CPU. Frozen screen. All of them can be problems. And especially when you are really stressed. A veces estamos estresados. And then it appears a lot of difficulties, okay? Also, 
we were studying this. Ways to report a problem. We have this, I would like to report a problem. It does not seem to work. I would like to report an issue. It makes a strange funny noise. I have trouble with, it does not turn on, okay? So in this case, what are we going to do is this. We're going to write the three items and possible problems, okay? Vamos a anotar cualquier item, okay? And possible problems. We're going to work in groups of three. Vamos a trabajar en grupos de tres. So you have to give one problem, I mean one item. Un item podría ser the printer, okay? You write printer. And you give possible solutions, uh, possible problems. For example, uh, the printer is out of ink, uh, no tiene tinta, okay? O se le acabó la tinta. And you can write computer, you can write other types of machines or equipment that you have. ¿Verdad? Cualquier tipo de equipo que, que usted utilice. Yeah, why not, okay? So you have to give one item and one possible problem, okay? Three. So you're going to work in group of three. So you uh, listen to, to your partners and you write. You write the... Puede the... poner la imagen anterior, por favor. Okay. Let me see. Bien, te voy a poner las dos. Primero esta, these are examples. Mm -hmm. Eh, por ejemplo, new software, no internet access, son ejemplos de, lo, de las dificultades que podemos tener, ¿ok? En, aparte de esto, tenemos eh, la manera en cómo podemos reportar, how we can report a problem, like this. Tenemos for, la forma de reportar un problema. We have three different forms. Of course, there are a lot of eh, forms to, to do it, but here we have three options in Common issues to report. For example, mm, I have trouble with uh, the computer. It does not turn on, que no enciende la computadora, okay? Or well, if you have laser printer, si tiene una impresora laser, okay? Um, it makes strange noise, or you can talk about cafeteria, uh, no, the, the, the coffee machine, de la máquina de café. You can talk about microwave, the microondas, the real things, okay? It is not necessary to invent, uh, but we have had a lot of problems with equipment in the workplace. Siempre tenemos problemas, okay? The lock, verdad? La cerradura a veces. La cerradura de las puertas no abre, okay? The lock does not open, verdad? No, 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 no cierra. All the windows, okay? We have problems. Uh, imagine you open your window and then you cannot close it. Después no, cerrar, no puede cerrar la ventana. It's kind of complicated. So you can talk about things, these things. And I'm going to give you some time, okay? Groups of three. Let's see the groups. Just give me a moment. Okay, we are checking this. Okay, see you in a moment.
Okay, let's listen to some of your, uh, well, the things that you listen. Kathy, are you there? Yes. <laughs> okay, tell us the item and the possible problems that you have. Tell, no, tell us one. Um, solo el item. El item y el posible problema. Okay. Um, the printer. The printer. What is the problem with the printer? It doesn't print. It doesn't print. Mm -hmm. Print. Yes. It doesn't print. Uh -huh. And there are some some printers that they print only in black. You know, get imprints or in there and so on. But thank you. Really nice. Let's listen now to Carly. And then we go with Roberto. Okay, Carly, are you ready to mention the item? And then the possible. Uh, okay, the power plant emergency. Okay, what is the problem with that? The light does turn on. Okay, the light does not turn on. Okay, good one. Okay, let's listen to Roberto and then Iris. Yes, from your, your classmates. Okay. Computer. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the computer crashes. Ah, crashes. Okay, nice. It is. And then Judith. Que la veo con calor. Las que chicas. Okay. Teacher. Yep. Problems with the scanner. Scanner. What what is going on with the scanner? The scanner does not connect to the network. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Judith. Que la veo está más chapudita. Que te no calor. Okay. Sí. El item in the scanner. Okay. The problem. The the scanner has a paper 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 jam. paper jam okay yeah yeah thank you okay francisco and then we go with um elizabeth okay frank la cámara yes, web yeah. no la reconoce software okay creo que no dice oh, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Eh, sí, pero eh, el ítem que estábamos tocando era el escáner. Adelante. Eh, with the scanner. The scanner not connect uh, network. Okay, the scanner does not connect to network. Okay. Okay. Ganaste, Cecilia. Ceci, but that's okay. No problem. Let's listen now to Eli. And then here we go with Marvin. Ahorita. Yes, Eli. <laughs> Vaya, el item is computer. Y el problema es, I don't have an internet connection. Thank you very much. Marvin, please. Okay, the thing is that the doors won't open. Okay, thank you. Really good. Let's listen to Jocelyn and then Flor. Okay, a little is air conditioning. Mm -hmm. um, the air conditioning does not start on does not turn on and that's really difficult because the places with air conditioner uh, are commonly closed so cerrados okay and the windows are so closed they are so so small okay thank you floor and then we go with um gladys and Aris. and it then is the computer uh... I don't have turn on computer. Okay. I don't, well, the computer does not turn on, okay? 
that's not turned on. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Aneris, are you okay? And then Christy. El item is computer. Okay. Elizabeth has trouble with internet. Ah, with internet. Okay. Thank you, Christy. What about you? Christy, are you okay? The computer has virus. I might just what? Okay. Thank you. Now let's go to uh, have listening. Vamos con listening. Please be ready to write uh, any write any word or phrase that you can identify. Just give me a second. Ok, let's listen. I hope you can hear very well. Espero que escuchen bien porque las veces anteriores me han dicho que hemos tenido como dificultades. We have had some difficulties, but let's listen now. Le voy a tratar de dar más volumen. Ok, let's try. These days are going to be very busy. For example, I am having a meeting in the afternoon. Then I am checking the reports tonight. Tomorrow, I am visiting some clients and I am preparing a presentation at noon. Definitely, I have to take advantage of the time. Okay, let's listen one more time. These days are going to be very busy. For example, I am having a meeting in the afternoon. Then I am checking the reports tonight. Tomorrow, I am visiting some clients and I am preparing a presentation at noon. Definitely, I have to take advantage of the time. Okay, uh, Iris, could you hear very well? Pudiste escuchar? Yes, okay. Marvin, same, lo mismo, o un poco mejor? Oh, sí, escuché bien. Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, uh, Ceci, and then Marvin, tell us one word, two words, or phrase, whatever you identify. Uh, yes, she has a day very busy. Busy, mm -hmm. good. Busy. And she has a meeting in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Then she checks with her tonight. And she has visiting clients. Okay, thank you. Let's listen to Marvin and then Jocelyn. Uh, these days, are you going to be busy? Nice. Okay, yes, definitely it is. Jocelyn and then Judith. Okay, I have a meeting afternoon, check report tonight. I have to take and tomorrow a presentation. Okay, thank you. And let's go with Judith and then Frank. I'm sorry? Ahora te escucho bien. Eh, no escuchaste. ¿Tuviste problema? Ahora sí, ahora sí se escuchó bien. Ah, ok, thank you. Sí, yo creo que era el, el volumen del audio y la calidad. Ok, thank you, Jed. Ok. Eh, these days are going to. 
For example, tomorrow I uh, have a meeting afternoon. Mm -hmm. Advantages presentation. Okay, good. Thank you. Very nice. Let's listen to Frank. Okay. Um, are going, for example, check report, uh, prepare presentation. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Good. Let's uh, check what do we have here. And actually, it is what you have mentioned. Eso es lo que, lo que mencionado. Yes. Let's listen one more time. These days are going to be very busy. For example, I am having a meeting in the afternoon. Then I am checking the reports tonight. Tomorrow, I am visiting some clients and I am preparing a presentation at noon. Definitely, I have to take advantage of the time. Okay, and something that it is really helpful as well is the pronunciation of this girl. It's really good. So if you notice, we have some words, for example, take advantage. Cuando decimos take advantage or take advantage, significa uh, aprovechar. Okay, eso es aprovechar. And here we have some definitely, definitivamente, okay, busy is ocupado, busy. Okay, so when you have a busy day, busy week, a busy month, or busy agenda. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the other words, you already know them. Ya las conocen, el resto de palabras. Okay, let's listen to some other opinions. Would you like to plan your own funeral? Okay, in this case, we're going to listen the first as Judith. Que nos va a dejar también una buen testamento. And then we go with Roberto. Okay, Judith. Tell us. No te enojes, Judith. Tranqui. Breathe. No he encontrado la respuesta. Respira, respira. La respuesta está en tu corazón siempre. Okay. No, because. No, I wouldn't. Because I think it is anticiparse. Anticipate. Anticipate the fact. What I will do is allocate a fund for my family to manage at the funeral. Okay, that's another option. Okay, you don't like to talk about this, right? So maybe it is not necessary. Thank you, Judith. We go now with uh, Roberto and then we go with Christy. Okay, yes, I will. You know, okay. In my opinion, it will be perfect to leave everything organized because that way my body will mess with my funeral expenses. Okay. And here we have expenses. Expensive significa caro. Expenses, como dice Roberto, as Roberto mentioned, is gastos. Okay. And so that's it. You can prevent these expenses for your family. Now let's listen to Christy and then we go with William. Okay. Yes, I would. Yes, okay. I would. Uh, I I am already preparing. It seems I am sexy or I think it's time to put in a box. Okay, really nice. Thank you. Um, so that that is uh, really important, Christy. Good. That's nice. Okay, what about William? Okay, let's listen to William. If William is not ready, maybe we can have Kathy. Catherine, opinion. Yes, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I know wouldn't. Um, 
Mm. I don't like to think about a thief. Well, okay, nice. Okay, as Kathy says, I don't like to think or I don't like to talk about this and it is okay. It is your point of view. And sometimes uh, families feel like worried or really sad talking about this and maybe that's one of the other reasons. Thank you very much. Let's listen now to, okay, Flor. What about you, Flor? Okay, in my opinion, no. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to be in this life and we do not, don't know when we will when we will be. When we will die. Mm -hmm. Or we'll die. Yes, when we will die. We don't have that something very curious in life, right, Flor? We don't have a specific day, right? We just die and that's it okay so sabe moriremos, yeah nobody ¿no? knows nobody knows so no. maybe that is something that makes special the life maybe we can appreciate more thank you flor and let's patty are you ready yes okay patty tell us I don't uh, agree with that because if I plan my funeral, I will be thinking a lot about it. Um, that is not good for myself. You feel knows when I will will be. die. Mm -hmm. When die. we will die con, con nosotros moriremos. Yes, that's it. Definitely we don't have a specific uh, day or day, okay? Just give me a second. And then we're going, thank you for all your opinions as always. Now here we have a conversation. Let's take a look at this. Vamos a darle una revisada. Okay, um, I'm sorry, I was checking uh, something. Uh, here we have a conversation between Mike and Maria, right? And if you can see, here we have uh, Mike Hernandez, IT department, that it is like the technology department. It is like the area in which the area that helps to, well, with, with problems, like un area que nos ayuda como el soporte técnico, okay. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria. Ya les había mencionado que cuando decimos this is Maria para decir mm, yo soy Judy, yo soy Roberto, yo soy Francisco. Okay. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. Accountant. Let me show you this. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? En lugar de Miss, si estamos hablando con un caballero, puede ser Mister, que significa señor. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like to come. I would like to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. 
So if you notice, uh, it is a very concrete conversation. And here we have Mike Hernandez, Departamento de Tecnología. Hola, Mike. Es María Ochoa, quien te saluda, de eh, contabilidad. Accounting, accounting. O pueden decir accounting. Cuando hay una N y después una T, normalmente se di, no se pronuncia la T. Accounting. Bien extraño, but it is. Eh, después le voy a traer una lista de palabras con respecto a eso. And from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Eh, me gustaría reportar un problema con mi impresora. ¿Cuál es el problema, señorita Ochoa? It doesn't seem, este verbo seem significa parecer. Eh, no parece estar funcionando o trabajando. Y está haciendo un sonido raro. Strange. Str no, es strange. Strange. ¿Ok? Como Doctor Strange. ¿Hay un mensaje en el panel de control? Sí. Dice service, servicio. También hay una LED roja, una, una, una luz roja en el botón de error. Button, button. Me gustaría que viniera pronto a revisarlo. Ya veo. Estaré ahí ahora mismo, right away. Accounting. Eh, message says. Says. No, it says. It says. Says. Right away. Right away. By, aquí se dice message. Message. Ahora, cuando tenemos la otra palabra, que es que se pronuncia massage. Massage es masaje. Message, mensaje. Ok, what is, uh, something important is the E and the A, ¿verdad? La E y la A hacen la diferencia. Message. Messenger, como messenger, message, mensaje, massage, es masaje. Ok. So, uh, we're going to practice in couples. And I need you to change, as I uh, told you the last times, instead of say, this is Mario Ochoa, you can say, this is uh, Judith Alfaro, this is Carly Mendoza, this is Jocelyn Castaneda. And in this part, when we have this, in this case, uh, en lugar de Miss, eh, puede ser Mrs. si es señora o Mr. si es señor. Ok, we're going to practice like two or three minutes. Remember to change, to switch always uh, the dialogues. Hay que cambiar los diálogos, ¿verdad? Siempre vamos a estar pendientes de eso. Si ya lo terminando una vez, pueden eh, hacerlo de otra manera. Ok, so um, let's, I'm going to form the groups. Okay, so in this case, we're going to see this. Okay, please uh, let uh, let's give a a review to the conversation. Vean la conversación en este momento si gustan para que tengan más una idea más clara de y para tener más fluidez. Okay, I'm just assigning. Solo estoy asignándoles acá. Okay, see you in a moment. Fíjate que 
espere que me levante, tengo un dolor aquí, como que si fuera aire, como cuando ha jugado y agarra un aire con un cólico. ¿Sabe qué será? Quizás me levante muy. Eso, usted puede cuando vaya. Yo le voy a decir. ¿Cuál ejercicio me recuerda? Sí, también como estoy sentado así. ¿Cómo vas? Bien, no acordate que me tarea. Vale, avance por donde está. Mi última especial. Vamos. Tengo que entregar una transferida la otra semana. Y de ahí tengo un post. Ah. ¿Sí? La, la primera, pero no lo que de ahí vamos. Me quedan una semana. Ok. Les dicen, Judith, ¿ya no tenés calor? No. Bien. Ya no. Excelente. Yes, sometimes because it's going to rain. A veces como va a llover, ponen con mucho calor. Ok. Llovió. Por Llovió. eso había mucho calor, sí. Llovió sobre mojado. Ok. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Let's listen to Carly. 
que parece un chica de call center, así con sus headset. Ok, who was your classmate? You did. Ya, <laughs> oh, vaya, ese equipo. Ok, ese equipo está interesante. Ok, eh, Carla Mendoza, y department. Hello, Carla, this is Judith Alfaro from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Mr. Alfaro? It doesn't seem to be working and is making a stream no noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see, I'll be there right away. Good one. Sí, solo yo estaba hablando. <laughs> mismo, mismo. Era un diálogo interno. Okay, in this case, just IT, ¿verdad? Eso le saca IT. Okay, thank you. Good job. Bien, ya que tenemos aquí a Fabricio de vuelta en el mundo de los vivos. Okay, tell us, Fabricio, what's your opinion about this? Would you like to plan your own funeral? Maybe, yes, no. Um, difficult, difficult. When, uh, when my brother died, my mother paid for her funeral service and even need to buy the crypts in the cemetery. It's so hard, but the really is the is that leaving everything ready is about leaving fever problems. For those we will leave behind. Yes, it's like we were talking, we have two oh, two bands, the bandos. People who says that who say that it is difficult to talk about it, better to to what to plan it later with family or the other is to prevent expenses, uh, prevent uh, some difficulties. And yes, uh, of course, everything here in Salvador is expensive, especially to die uh, in the cemetery, the graveyards. It is, it is uh, expensive, even in the city hall in Alcaldia, you have to pay. Yes, even if, if the cemetery is like very humble, say, como sencillo, humilde, you have to pay anyway. Okay, so, well, imagine uh, it is like really hard, but well, todavía vamos a vivir más, esperaría, creo, creo, okay, por lo menos un par de años. Okay, even and today you have to pay taxes. Yes, you live, uh, you breathe, pay taxes. You die, okay. You have kids, yes, but because you you have to. Well, the the bird, uh, the bird, uh, la partida de nacimiento, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, imagine in the in the event in the, the gasoline, de de función, de de función. when you get married, when te casas. ¿Cómo te divorcias? No, y, con, y con esto, cuando estuvo la, la pandemia, otro gasto adicional. Yes, eso no yes. estaba contemplado. Yes, imagine, a lot of expenses, todo el dinero, almost yeah. everything. Ok, here we have, this is uh, really easy, ok, Fabrizio, you tell us, complete the sentences below, use the conversation to help yourself. Uh, what's your opinion about the first one? I, if you notice, I, like to report this issue, checking in there into this. Easy, right? Just one word. Mm -hmm. uh, return, Ida. Let me see. Aquí no aparece ese la de issue. Would, yeah, would like. Would. Would like. Yes, I would like to report this issue. Issue is like a synonym of a problem. Okay. And the I second story of my life. <laughs> okay. Yes. Por dos y por tres van a ser los demás. Number two, I would, I would. 
I would like. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would like to fix this. Mm -hmm. That's the, the the common, the common what structure. Thank you, Fabricio. Now let's continue with some others. Marvin, what's your opinion about this? Should El Salvador have birth control? Debería El Salvador tener un control de nacimiento, o un control natal, podría ser de natalidad. And all those things like to reduce yes. kids, okay? You consider that yes? No problem. La respuesta siempre está en lugar adecuado. No, en el corazón, my friend. En el corazón está tu respuesta. Okay. Okay, definitely. Um, permítame. No problem. Say your time. Okay. Definitely, yes. Uh, Liz Gary, our survey every four years, uh, which a factor that's uh, not being a play for a long time in your country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, in historically, uh, birth control have never been in El Salvador. Maybe in some other countries on some other continents, they have birth control. Okay, but in El Salvador, it would be like may maybe a good option. Thank you. And it is, and then we go with Christy. Okay, yeah. Ceci. Yes. Um, definitely, yes. Okay. Um, I consider that we are a country with little economic economic development mm -hmm. for the good for the good of the children and so that they don't suffer. The bird right shall be controlled in the country. Okay, yes. Uh, Unfortunately, we are not a developed country and our economy is not the best. Maybe in some other time they, we have like more opportunities, but now it's really, really hard, especially for kids. Okay, so yes. Thank you. Good, good ideas. It is. And uh, we go with Christy and then we go with um, Frank. Okay, Christy. No, okay, relax, relax, no te, no te dispares. Relax, I'm going to give you time, te voy a dar tiempo. Okay, okay. okay. Gracias. Como me dijeron una vez, no problem. Okay, let's listen this time. Bueno, tenemos aquí a Gabriel. Okay, Gabriel, are you ready to give your opinion? Yes, teacher. Please. Okay. And then Aneris. Mm -hmm. I do have control over how many children. It would be recommended to have peer coping. It will have give better economic stability and the country will not be overpopulated. I could have better control as in the developed country on this issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a really, uh, a really impact problem overpopulation if you notice the housing si se dan cuenta la, 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 el tema de vivienda the housing is getting worse and the houses are more expensive every time okay so imagine imagine in 10 in 20 years uh, the, the situation is going to be really really uh, critical okay and uh, let's listen to Aneris and then Jocelyn okay Aneris Are you ready? Yes. Please. It is possible to project the volume and geographical distribution of the next generation, taking into account historical, historical day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Talking about the geography or the, the territory, even El Salvador is the one of the smallest countries in the world. In especially in, in America, right? So, well, 
it's re really hard. Thank you. We go with Jocelyn now and then Frank. Okay, Jay. my answer is yes, because we are in overpopulated country with uh, employment opportunities. Um, making a say we can release that is rural areas is where women shown to have a large number of children and do not have the necessary recourse to support so many children. And a consequence of the, this is the abandonment or the give away their children. Yeah, and it is common that in the countryside or in the rural areas, women usually have more kids. Like, como en las zonas rurales, cuando se, se, hay más poblado, bueno, la, las mujeres en las últimas décadas han tenido como más hijos. So, believe it, it is kind of complicated because they, at the end, when the kids uh, grow up, they become adults and they have to migrate to the urban areas. And that's where we can identify overpopulation. That's it. And para decir recursos, se dice resources. And then, of course, we have limited resources. Okay, Frank, you go. No sé si ya pasó Iris. But well, then we go with Frank and then Iris. Okay. Uh, my opinion, no one does the right to control virus, much, much less a government. More today, people do not want baby. They prefer pets. They even do not want to start a family anymore. Anymore, they prefer nothing serious. Okay. Um, well, talking about trends, como tendencias, um, nowadays, we have like the next generation, not all of them, not all, but yes, a big percentage. Uh, there are some young adults that they don't want to get married. They don't want to, to, to have kids. They prefer to be single and to have pets, as Frank mentioned. That's another part of the reality. Mm -hmm. That's one of them. Okay, thank you. And let's listen, Iris, no sé si ya pasaste y ya y no te anoté. I'm so sorry. Yeah, sí, ya pasé, teacher. Ah, ya decía algo, decía que sí. <laughs> okay, we're sí. going to listen to Elizabeth, okay, Ali? And then we continue with the class. 27 minutos, 27 minutes, para que sean más felices. Okay, um, Eli? Okay. Maybe she's not ready, but then we're going to listen to Flor. Okay, Flor? Okay. I think not because we all have the right to life and win so many deaths in this time of pandemic. A good part of the population has killed. Died, mm -hmm. has died. died. Yes, died. yes. And not only in El Salvador, but in different parts of the world. Uh, do you remember the, the news? Cuando decimos news, nos referimos a las noticias, no que sean nuevos, okay? Um, the news in Ecuador, in Ecuador, creo que era. Yes, that people were cremated on streets. En las calles estaban cremando a la gente because a lot of people died because of the pandemic uh, situation. So maybe now uh, there are, well, in that time, in ese tiempo, in these two years, there were less birth. Hubieron como menos también nacimientos. Because of that, people were afraid. La gente estaba como con miedo. Estaban. Temeroso. Yes, temeroso. So, so that's it. Okay, thank you. Okay, we continue with the work. Hello, okay. Ah, yeah. Christy. Puedo, no sé si puedo. Yes, adelante. Okay. Tell us. Uh, uh, okay. Beer control also, uh, also can out as contraception is designed to prevent unwanted pregnancies. Contraceptive methods can work in several ways. This preventing. Sperm from reaching the eggs. 
Okay, there are some experiments. Uh, some of them are biological and some others are like in the field of population. And maybe we, in these difficult times, uh, a lot of programs or projects have been carried out maybe to check if it, what works para revisar que funciona. Okay, thank you. Worksheets, here we have this easy PC. Here we have, look at this. Uh, we have affirmative sentences. We have negative sentences. We have questions. And we have answers to the questions. Okay, so first, let's check on the on the affirmatives. Look at this. Okay, in the affirmatives, it is easy to check. I would like a cup of tea. Le vamos a agregar to esta palabrita to when here we have a verb. Cuando tenemos un verbo, entonces le vamos a agregar to. For example, I would like to watch TV. I would like to sleep. Me gustaría dormir. I would like to sleep. I would like to go to, to Panama. I don't know, whatever. But when you say, I would like, me gustaría, you can mention food. Uh, you can mention anything you want. I would like pizza. I would like hamburger. I would like a cup of tea. Okay. For the negative, we say wouldn't, okay? It's, let me see. Wouldn't, okay? I wouldn't like. And the same, I wouldn't like to, si sí, vamos a agregar un verbo, okay? I wouldn't like to, to work tomorrow. No, me gustaría trabajar mañana, but anyway, okay? And for the questions, remember that here we have, um, as always, como siempre les digo, the auxiliar, the auxiliar goes at the beginning. El auxiliar va al inicio. Ok. Entonces, tomamos de ejemplo esta misma afirmativa. Lo único cambio que el would va al inicio. Y aquí tenemos las preguntas. ¿Verdad? Would you like a cup of tea? Would he like a cup of tea? Aquí no importa las terceras personas porque estamos utilizando el would, que es el auxiliar. Now. If we are using the verbs, si vamos a usar los verbos, entonces utilizamos siempre, I would like to. Would we like to? Would they like to? Y como ya contestamos, ima imagine you were answering before the explanation. Estaban ya contestando sin la explicación. I would, I wouldn't. Okay. You would, you wouldn't. Well, he would, he wouldn't. Okay. So in this case, here we have this grammar notes. Vamos a ver estas notas gramaticales. Ok, in this case, I would like you to help me. Uh, Marvin, can you help me with number one? And then we go with Carly. I would like a cup of tea. It's a more polite way to say. I want a cup of tea. Perfect. So, I would like, es más amable, es, es, es más relax. Eh, en lugar de decir... Quiero una taza de café. It's not so nice, right? And so it's not kind. No es muy amable. It's not polite. And Carly, number two. And then we go with Judith, number three. I would like a cup of tea. It's often contract to I'd like a cup of tea in speaking. Okay. Entonces, cuando les decimos I would like a cup of tea, a veces decimos I'd like, I'd. I, okay, fácil. Um, para esto, okay, decimos I, I like, pero debe sonar la D, I like, I like, okay, so that's it. And here we have Judith, number three, and here we have um, Anelis, number four. Yes, I would. It's never contracted to. Yes, I. I. Mm -hmm. Para las contracciones, como pueden ver, perdón, para las respuestas, eh, siempre utilizamos la forma completa. No decimos 
Yes, I, por ejemplo, cuando le, te dicen, are you single? ¿Estás soltero? You can say, yes, I am. No se dice, yes, I'm. No se dice, yes, I'm. Se dice, yes, I am. Ok. Do you work in the, in the factory? Yes, I do. Ok. So that's it. So, yes, I am. And who's next? Anaris, number four. In response. No, 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 no. Dice atención. Eh, solo léeme la última. In response to an offer. Ok. In response to an offer. No, thank you. It's considered more polite, but no, I won't. Mm -hmm. I will Or, not. Yes, more polite. Uh, would you like uh, uh, a beer? Would you like a shot of tequila? Mm, no, I wouldn't. Es mejor decir, no, no me gustaría, en lugar de decir, no, thank you. Ok. Eh, pero eh, normalmente, cuando decimos no, thank you, um, es súper, súper amable, ¿verdad? Entonces recuerden, no, traten de tratar de no sonar pesadito. Yo quiero esto. I would like, me gustaría. Ok, no, no, thank you. So, uh, we're going to check some of these exercises. 18 minutes and we finished. Ok, so here we have this. Let me see. Ok, we have just... 12, solo 12 ejercicios. Number one, I'm thirsty. Thirsty es sediento. Ok, sediento de agua, no de otra cosa. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Me gustaría un vaso de agua, por favor. Ok, I'm thirsty. I would like. Podemos tomar, we can have some examples of negatives, wouldn't. Ok. Or la si es pregunta que va good al inicio. Okay, so we're going to start in this time with um, Fabricio and then we go with Gabriel. Okay, Fabricio, tell us. Okay, um, second. Number two. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Would you like a break? Yes. Yes, we want. <laughs> we will, we will. <laughs> yes, we would. Yes, definitely. Can, no? Okay. More than one. Thank you, Gabriel. And then we go with Carly. Number four. Yeah. Patrick. Would. Would like. Would like, would like, como tenemos un verbo, vamos a utilizar. Two. Two. Okay. Thank you. Okay, now here we have Carly, and then we go with Jocelyn. Mm, number seven. Yeah. Uh, my friends would like to come to the party next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, we go now with. And uh, who else? Jocelyn and Roberto. Okay, if Jocelyn is not ready, let's go with Roberto and then Judith. Ay, yo estoy peor. <laughs> Muy bien, la vida. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, eleven. Okay, eleven. What? What? Pero... Sigue what, tu corazón. What will you? Yeah. What would you? Like, yeah. Would you like, like to tomorrow? Yeah. What would you like to do tomorrow? ¿Qué te gustaría hacer mañana? Sleep. Okay. Yes. Let's listen now to Judith, and then we go with Flor. And number ten. Number 10, yes. Would well, you like to see a movie? Okay, perfect. No, no, I wouldn't. 
Qué malvado. Rechazando al pobre. No hay good. Thank you. Okay. And let's listen now to Flor and then we go with Francisco. Number three. Three. Yes. I don't understand this. I wouldn't some help win my homework. Okay. Yo no entiendo eso. No, I wouldn't. ¿Cómo sería? No quiero o no quisiera ayuda con mi tarea. I would. Sería I, I would. Some help. I would like some help. Like. Me gustaría. Mm -hmm. Me gustaría algo. Ayuda, ¿verdad? Con mi tarea. Ok, Frank, okay. and then we go with Katy. Number nine. Nine. Uh, would you like? You like? Two. Yes. Aquí en este, en este caso sería solo would. Would you like chocolate? Ok, como ya es comida, entonces, o oh, ya es algo así, no es un verbo. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla? Vanilla ice cream, yeah. como el rapero. Vanilla Ice, como el rapero de los noventas. Ok. Oh, yeah. Ice, Ice. Sí. Creo que este Francisco salía bailando eh, con la canción. Pasos yes. prohibidos. Yes. Funcionaba. Funcionaba. No, no, no me haga recordar eso. Sí, época de oro. Ok. Let's listen to Katy and then Iris. Katy, are you ready? Well, if Katy is not ready, Let's go with Iris. Iris Cecilia, and then we go with Christy. Okay, Iris. Five, six, or twelve. Ah, perdón, pensé que iba a pasar algo. No. Um... <laughs> Number eight. Number eight, okay. Would you like work on Saturday? No, I wouldn't. Would you like to work? Yes. Nadie quisiera. <laughs> like to work on Saturday. Imagina si le preguntara al jefe. Nice. <laughs> okay, thank you. Christy, uh, five, five, six, twelve. Okay, six. Okay. Um, what line can be some? What Who would one? like some candy? Mm -hmm. Seria, we? Wood. Okay. Now this time we're uh, about to finish. Um, let's listen to quien no me ha pasado. Aneris, no sé si ha pasado. Ha pasado. Ah, calladita está. Ah, okay. Ya ven. Ajá, Aneris. Calladita está cara de así de, de tranquilita yo he puesto. Number five. Ah, ya ves. Ajá, no lo sabes. Ay, sería a uh, Ay, no, no sé. Will like. Ajá, casi. Will Tom. Will Tom. Like yep. to. Like. Come with you. Sí, fíjate que la había dicho anteriormente bien. Would, like, uh, would Tom like to come with us? Los yes. nervios. Yes. ¿Por qué? He pues will. yes. He will. Vaya. <risa> Confía en tu corazón. Ahí está la respuesta a todos tus males. Y vamos con Judith que me está diciendo, Ticho, yo quiero participar de nuevo. Number six. Yes. Go. 
Can I help you? Yes, I will. Like. A ticket to Melbourne. Perfect. Like yeah, it's so fácil. Ya ven, está super fácil. Okay, yeah. perfect. Yes, it's easy. Okay, uh, before we continue, here we have this. Should El Salvador have birth control? Why? In this case, I would like to listen. Uh, Judith, ya que estás aquí, con una gran disposición. Tell us, what's your opinion about this? Yes, no, maybe. And then Carly. Yeah, I think yes to about the following first overpopulation, second teenage pregnancies and their poor condition in public health areas will also increase the country's social and economic development. Yes, and definitely the economy and the development of Salvador depends on the number of works, the taxes, and also depends on the number of crimes, violence. And nowadays, there are a lot of families with a lot of kids, but they are not together, no están juntos. So the kids uh, don't have the necessary things to grow up healthy. Yeah. And it is a change. Es una cadena. Change and it continues. But I guess this is one of the sources, una de las fuentes. Okay. Yes, let's listen to Carly. Okay, I think so, not in his interest side, but in the case of parents who are not in the financial and mental capacity and to care for a child, in case like this, the state should limit the remember of child, children. Oh, very, very specific points. If they have problems with the finance, with the money, and, or they don't have the mental capacity, yes, it is like a good recommendation that states as uh, like uh, an area, okay, or, or a department of the government take control of these kind of situations because um, that's why a lot of kids are working on the streets. Hay muchos niños trabajando en las calles. And that's, that's why the, the parents, or maybe just the mother, uh, the mother that has like four or five kids, and that mother doesn't have a job. Imagine, even if that mother has a job, si esa mamá tiene trabajo, who's going to take care of the kids? ¿Quién va, quién va a cuidar a los niños? So it is a, a big problem and also the mental capacity. A lot of parents uh, like threat and punish and like, yes, they injure kids, lastiman a los niños. Okay, so, well, it is re really hard, this. So the state should take uh, this situation under control. We're going to finish uh, with, Roberto Empati. Okay, in my opinion, he should take control because it is one more consequence. It's a one is employment that conceal greater job insecurity and stagnation or even decrease his real wishes, especially for young people. Mm -hmm. That's it, actually it is. Yeah, we have problems. And this is one of the source. Source significa fuente. This is one of the source of violence sometimes when there is not a control of every uh, family. Okay, we are about... Patty, are you ready to give your opinion? Yes. Okay, please. Um, yes, it will have because to have a better control of the amount of the people the El Salvador has, I think, El Salvador has their control, which is so important for every country. Okay, very nice. Yes, 
True. Thank you. I don't know if William is ready or Kathy, because we are about to finish. Okay, William is not ready. Uh, Kathy maybe is not available. What about if we have Ivania? I don't know if Ivania is at home now. Yes, teacher. Okay, what's your opinion about this? And we finish, Ivania. Okay, in my opinion, yes. Uh, even if it is sound ugly, but it is necessary to have control of how many children they can have many times they don't have how to my my team and team my team it is it and it is uh, see uh, children are working or request to money in the street okay that's it yes definitely okay thank you Ivania very good opinion and well in this case we're going to I'm going to check the attendance list I know it is a difficult topic and remember that even sometimes maybe you don't have problem with this maybe you have financial capacity mental health capacity and emotional as well and emotional health but remember you maybe you're okay but a lot of families have a lot of, a lot of problems so those families need uh, need help okay we're going to finish this time we're going to well just one thing uh, jocelyn uh, tonight is is your turn for the session okay creo que se me fue jocelyn Pero ahora te toca la sesión. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Say hi, hello, good evening. Remember, we just have what? Three more days, three días. Yeah, sé que los están contando, but we are about to finish. Casi terminamos. No, dice Fabricio. No me quiero ir, señor Stark. Okay, and let's listen to Elizabeth. Hi. Okay, Flor. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Francisco. Present. Good. Gabriel. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um, Iris. Hi, teacher. Hello. And here we have also Juan. And then here we have Judith. Hello, teacher. Okay, nice. We Hello, need to Venezuela, friend. False, false. Yes. Okay, Judith. Hi. And um, let's listen to Ivania. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carly. Good night, teacher. Good night, Kathy. Ya no apareció Kathy. And David is moving. Marvin. Night, teacher. Good night, uh, Nelson. Good evening. Good evening. No, no, dijiste tu opinión, ¿verdad, Nelson, sobre? No, pero comencemos con eso mañana. Una ponencia. Good. Good night. Eh, eh, más, que, más que mañana tengo mi segundo día de entrenamiento virtual con, con la gente de cero. <laughs> vaya, pero vaya. ahí tenés, hay mucha capacidad, hombre. You relaxed. Aquí no, te puse. ¿Sabe cuánto, cuántos estamos recibiendo el curso? Ya. Yeah. Dos. Ok, bueno. El bien o sea, y el que mal. No contesta mi compañero, tengo que contestar yo. Bien, ahí está. El bien y el mal, el yin y el ya. Ok. Good luck for tomorrow, Fabricio. Thank Buena you. suerte. Patty, hello there. Night. Good night. Uh, Roberto. Present teacher. Nice. Santo Cristina. William. Good night, teacher. Good, Good night. night. Hello. Bye bye. Uh, Jocelyn and Aneris. Present. Okay. Jocelyn, te quedas unos minutos. And Aneris, okay. bye bye. Good night. Paso buenas noches. See you tomorrow, my friends. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ok, 
Okay, um, what do we have here? Jocelyn. Are you at home? Just está en casa, Jocelyn. Yes. Um, sí, teacher, solo si me escuchas así lejos es que no encontré mis audífonos. Y ya está lloviendo. No. Pero es conforme a lo del tema, ¿verdad? De, si tengo que dejar algún tema. Sí, eso es, una, es un ah, feedback. Sí. Eh, bueno, de lo del resto del tema que hemos visto, siento que está ahí entendiendo todavía repasando, pero del que sí perdí la estabilidad de conexión ahorita y que hice la tarea, fue pues creo que y me salieron malas porque la manera de ser cortés con el con el Ken y el, uh -huh, ese era lo que no alcancé a escuchar la explicación. Ok, ya te digo. Ok, in this case tenemos esto. Ok, um, eso, grammar notes es bastante importante. Por ejemplo, I would like a cup of tea. It's more polite to say I want a cup of tea. El, okay. si, si utilizas el want, este, te está refiriendo a que tú quieres algo, pero lo estás demandando como medio obligado. En cambio, si dices I would like, entonces es como mm, me gustaría. Es como se puede amablemente. Now, in the second option, I would like a cup. Dime. Podría decir que prácticamente el I want podría ocuparlo como con amigos. Yes, yes, ah. con, con amigos y o cuando, digamos, eh, estás en un restaurante y, eh, digamos, te ponen una opción. Por ejemplo, ok, um, Would you like pasta or pizza? Yo, mm, I want pasta. En este caso, bah, quiero pasta. Ahí sí se puede porque te ponen como las dos opciones. Yeah. Ok. Pero I would like a cup of tea. Es como cuando te pregunta a alguien, Would you like something? ¿Te gustaría algo? Mm, I would like a cup of tea. I would like a cup of coffee. I would like some water. Me gustaría agua. So, in those uh -huh. cases. Ok. Then here we have this. Second, I would like a cup of tea is often contracted. Entonces, para estas, cuando ya estamos utilizando uh, esas frases, no siempre decimos I would like, decimos a veces I'd like. Entonces debe sonar la D. I'd, I'd like. Mm -hmm. I'd like a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. That's it. Y este, la otra es, yes, I would. Is never contracted to yes I. Entonces acá no decimos yes I. Decimos yes I would. Cuando te preguntan are you okay? Yes I am. No decimos ah, yes de I. Sí, pero no se utiliza. Por ejemplo ah, acá okay. no se utiliza. Decimos yes I would. Cuando te okay. preguntan, por ejemplo, are you are Are you a, are you a, what? Are you a student? ¿Eres estudiante? Yes, I am. No okay. decimos yes, I am. Mm -mm. Es cuando te preguntan, yes, I can, yes, I do. Pero usted en la afirmación, mm -hmm, no, no contraes, ¿verdad? No haces la, la contracción. Okay. ¿Ok? Y la otra, in response to an offer, no thank you is considered more polite than no I wouldn't. Cuando te están haciendo una oferta de algo, entonces hay que decir no thank you en lugar de decir no I wouldn't. Puedes decir no I wouldn't, pero no thank you es prácticamente lo más amable. Está rechazando algo de una manera muy amable. Es más cortés. Es más cortés. It's more polite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ok. Así que de allí tendrías este, dificultades con las estructuras, ¿verdad? Que está algo práctica, no está tan complicada. Sí, sí, es que la verdad yo no escuché la explicación porque perdí la conexión, porque empecé a llover aquí algo fuerte. Entonces estaba, o sea, necesitaba saber eso porque me habían salido erróneas en las preguntas de la tarea. Entonces tenía esa duda de cuál era el formal y cuál era el informal, o Ajá. sea, de qué manera sonaba. Pero sí, ahora sí ya me, ya me quedó claro. Sí, y es importante siempre tratar de sonar formal, por lo menos cuando estás aprendiendo inglés, 
ya después sí, con tus amigos y todo ya cambia un poco, ¿verdad? Sí, este, uh -huh. ¿Tendrías otra duda, sí. Jocelyn? Mm, hasta el momento no, Ticha. Vaya, te quiero felicitar sí. porque tú has, siento que en este, sé que te está costando bastante, ¿verdad? Por el tema del tiempo y tus horarios, sí. pero, pero créeme que he notado tu esfuerzo, preparas bastante bien tus tus eh, respuestas, tus opiniones y estás sí. utilizando mucho, mucho el vocabulario que te he dado u otro vocabulario que tú investigas y créeme, yo se, se sí, nota bastante. Es que estoy intentando, bueno, como se dice por los horarios, ¿verdad? como a Ivania la cambiaron de área y ya me tocó a mí estar con otra manera nueva y ya se dificultaron un poquito más los horarios, ¿verdad? Y este, con eso de las tareas al inicio de módulo, les soy sincera, empecé con el traductor, pero no me era de mucha ayuda porque sentí que me colocaba palabras que yo hasta el momento no manejaba. Entonces traté de apoyarme con personas que más o menos tenían algún conocimiento en el inglés. Entonces era como que necesitaba cosas que me lo dijeran a la manera de que no fuera un traductor, la gramática. Entonces sí. me basé básicamente en pedir ayuda, o sea, armarla yo y más o menos que me ayudaran a dar alguna estructura, si, si estaba bien o estaba mal, y así me he ido apoyando un poquito. Sí, claro, recuerda que tienes que agotar todas las instancias de donde tú puedas eh, recibir algún eh, asesoría, algún consejo, tip y todo eso, adelante, de, se trata de, de sumar, ¿verdad? De abonar, sí, así que, no, es el, sigue así, está, siento que estás avanzando bastante, pero mucho. Gracias. ¿Verdad? Así que puedo Gracias. percibir eso. Así que ánimo. Ok, ya casi terminamos el, el módulo. Ok, sí, sí, el viernes creo que es última clase, ¿verdad? Sí, prácticamente sí. ahí estaríamos terminando, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Bueno, te cuidas Thank entonces. You. Bye, bye. Bueno, bien. Eh.